In Everman this morning, the search will resume for a missing six-year-old boy. Police no longer believe that they will find Noel Rodriguez Alvarez alive, but still they are determined to give him justice and provide closure for those who loved him. It is a situation that has gripped that small community, and our Alexis Wainwright is there live with more on the search that got underway this morning. Hello, Alexis. Hey, Robbie, good morning. We are about an hour into this search so far this morning. We're about two miles away from the command post. We want to show you this targeted area where they are now searching right now. You can see police cars here and also a Texas search and rescue vehicle that is carrying two boats. So this is just one of the areas where we've been seeing crews so far this morning. This is a larger search crew than we have ever seen before. We know that the drone is overhead of this area right now, and also crews have just been searching desperately for answers about where Noel is right now. Now, Everman Police and Texas Search and Rescue Volunteers will be searching areas in and outside of Everman today using drones, human remain detecting canines, horses, and even boats. Large searches planned for last weekend were canceled. Chief Spencer says investigators have now pinpointed more targeted areas to search thanks to data they collected in a search warrant for the boy's parents. Police say they fled to India just last month. We wanted to make sure before we rescheduled these ground searches that we had solid data to go off of and that we were allocating our resources appropriately and using that data to our advantage to make sure that we were properly searching certain areas. And to give you a better idea, this is just one of the areas where crews are searching so far this morning. There are some other spots across town and outside of town. We do know that crews are asking for volunteers and neighbors to steer clear of these search crews while they're working hard this morning. So give them some extra space if you do see them while you are out and about. And again, anyone with any little bit of information, the time is now to come forward. Reporting live in Everman, Alexis Wainwright, CBS News, Texas.